Hi friends, it's your art teacher, Miss Barnett. And in this week's lesson called Looking at Colors Together, we will be painting a scene of a garden using the three primary colors, which are red, blue, and yellow, that you'll have a mix or a paint palette as well, as well as a mixing plate. You'll also have a piece of paper to paint on, a water cup, You'll need a variety of paint brushes. I've got flats and rounds here in some different sizes and some paper towels. So we're going to think about, before we get started, will you be able to paint your picture with just the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, or will you need to mix other colors to create your picture? And how will you mix these colors? And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. I want you to start with the large areas of your painting first, let the area dry before you add more paint on top and remember to wash your brush before dipping into a new color so i'm going to show you how to mix some secondary colors and some intermediate colors today and then i'll show you my painting and you can paint along with me let's get started i forgot to mention you're also going to be thinking about color schemes today so i have these posters up in the room i have them in english and in Spanish, and I want you to refer to them as you're creating your painting to think about how you're going to tell me about the colors that you made and which schemes you chose for your picture. Let's get started. All right, friends, so we're going to start by mixing the secondary colors because we cannot mix primary colors. We have to go to the store and buy them. On this color wheel chart, the secondary colors and the primary colors are both squares. So we have yellow, red, and blue. We're gonna mix violet, green, and orange right now. So to make green, we're gonna mix yellow and blue in equal parts. I've wet my brush, wiped the excess paint off my brush. And I'm gonna dip, swish, swish, wipe. We don't wanna mix up the colors dab your brush you can't see what I'm doing hold on I'm dabbing my brush on a paper towel and I'm gonna get an equal amount of blue kind of lay it right next to it pretty good now let's mix it's a pretty good green but I think the blue is overpowering so one of the things we need to keep in mind when we're mixing is yellow is the least powerful of all the primaries and blue is the most so I should have maybe added a little bit more yellow to this to make true green there we go that's better so we've got green if we move down the color wheel we can mix purple next that will fall between blue and red Push for swipe and blot your brush. Red. And blue. Mix. Hmm. Let's look at that compared to the color well. Did we get to violet? I think we got red violet so I think I need to add just a touch more blue there we go there's violet try to incorporate all the color mix all the colors don't leave any streaks so you'll have a consistent color when you paint on your paper swish swish white blot our next secondary color to mix is going to be orange. It's going to need yellow and red. Remember, we're going to add a little bit more yellow because yellow is the least powerful of the primaries. Some red. Let's see if we can get to orange. We need just a touch more yellow. Mm. 
Beautiful. That looks pretty close. Now we're going to start mixing the intermediate colors. So the intermediate colors are between the secondary colors and the primary, and we'll mix equal parts to make that color. So we'll start with yellow-orange. Good bit of yellow. Oops. And we'll grab some orange out of this pile. Load your brush and mix. Excellent. Let's mix a yellow green, yellow and green. So we'll put a little bit more yellow in here. Add some green. Oh, what did I forget to do? I forgot to wash my brush. There's yellow green. You can make blue green as well. We'll mix blue green right here. Blue. green. Pretty. Purple, we'll need blue-violet. Blue and violet. Blue. And violet. close. Make red violet as well. Red violet <clears throat> falls between red and violet. Let's get some red on our palette. Rinse, rinse white and some purple. Oh, that's a pretty red violet. And finally, our last intermediate color is red orange, red and orange together. A bit more red. And orange. And mix. And there's our red orange. So now I've got all my colors. You don't need to mix all these colors. I want you to think about what colors you are going to put in your garden scene before you get started. And I'm gonna start working on my painting now that I've mixed and you can watch me. I'm gonna speed up the tape. Here we go. All right, friends, here's my completed Looking at Colors Together project. I hope you have just as much fun painting your garden as I did today, and I cannot wait to see how they turn out. Let's get started.